Awesome. We are live. We are live. We're doing it. We're on. Jeff Cohen. We're really here. doing it. We are on. I'm wearing my, my, I got my KW colors on for you today. Hey. Uh, we are on Michael Lafito here. This is the 30th Luxury Lunch and Learn. Uh, we launched this during the COVID uh, early on in April and uh, excited to have today's guest on, Jeff Cohn, who formerly was with Berkshire Hathaway and uh, just, I think you officially opened your KW Elite office this week, I want to say, right? Yeah, we uh, were moving in on August 3rd. August 3rd, okay. We announced in December. See me changing my hats for anyone. I like it. This, this is like um, a KW hat. This is the team before. This is the coaching company. Oh my God. This is like uh, those, those, those high school football players when they're on ESPN, they got three hats there. You got, you know, Alabama, you got Clemson right. and right. you got uh, Northern Michigan and they this do works, Northern but... Michigan and shock the world. I love it. <laughs> yeah, dude. So December future con, we announced uh, we are going over to Keller Williams, decided to partner up with their, you know, 800 plus locations. Really excited about the change. We launched in 2000. Uh, I got licensed in 2006, started my team in 2011, Omaha's Elite Real Estate Group. We quickly grew 70 to over 700 sides, became the number one team in the world at Berkshire in 2018, awarded uh, in 2019. Gary Keller saw that we were doing the podcast and the coaching company, and our team had already expanded into five other locations and recruited us to start a market center, which is a franchise of Keller Williams in Omaha. We're the second one in Omaha. Uh, the third one in Nebraska. So we just got our market yeah. center number for those that know the Keller lingo about a month ago, number 1151. 1151. And we, we grew from 30 agents when I was Omaha's elite. We're already over a hundred agents in 60 days. Jeez. That's so it's been crazy. Days. That's a, a, an yeah. agent a day. It's been crazy. So we've been bringing on big teams. So the whole idea behind KW is it's a business built to teach people to be entrepreneurs. And that's something that I've always believed in very strongly. I go up in front of audiences and I'll, I'll challenge it to everyone listening today. Your focus shouldn't be having a job of selling luxury business. Your focus should be having a business that teaches people to have a job that sells luxury business. So the, fall, the fallacy of real estate is that I want to become a real estate agent so I can help people buy and sell houses. That's the story we say in the beginning. But for it to turn into a business, you're actually going to teach other people how to show and sell houses, generate leads. You're going to hold them accountable. You're going to provide them with the systems, tools, technology to become the best versions of themselves. Instead of having a job where you go service it yourself, you're teaching other people to service it. So I still, I quit selling in 14. I'll go on 10 or 15 appointments a year. All of my appointments are luxury. In my marketplace, luxury is over half a million, uh, but I usually try to stay in the 750 range or up. I just sold both sides of a $2 million house last week. I have a $3 million listing uh, right now, which is the highest price listing in Omaha. And we think it'll go under contract this summer. We've had a ton of demand on that one. So I'm excited to speak to luxury. I do work in the weeds. I've been in the weeds in every capacity you could possibly imagine. Uh, we've done over 5,000 transactions for a billion dollars in sales. We generate 2,000 internet leads a month through squeeze pages uh, from Google ads, Facebook ads, and Craigslist, which um, we get about 60,000 visitors a month, which generates the 2,000 registered leads. And in the last nine years, I've generated over 100,000 registered leads. So our team grew so fast exponentially because we kept adding agents, trained them to be the best versions of themselves, held them accountable, um, held, helped generate leads for them from the internet, and then taught them how to engage their sphere of influence to get people to know, like, and trust them. And here I am from 2006 to 2020 running a brokerage, a coaching company, and we've launched all sorts of ancillary businesses. As you know, Mike, we yes. have mortgage, title, insurance, investing, a call center, financial planning company, a coaching company. We just launched a digital marketing company, which I want to talk about today, which applies to the luxury uh, play. And then of course, the real estate brokerage and the intent is to take all of that, put it in one office in three weeks we're moving into. And in that one-stop shop location, the consumer can have all of those ancillary businesses at their disposal and they can do it virtually or in person. So our office is fully functioning virtually. All of our training, accountability, our meetings with clients, it can all happen virtually if they so choose and or physically if they want to come in. Well, I mean, obviously the virtual is, is huge in light of COVID-19 and, and perhaps second wave and people are, yep. used, you know, I think becoming more and more, uh, you know, uh, used yeah, to cognizant having, of it and, yeah. uh, your remote closings and everything else. Yeah, for sure. You know, when I, when I came down, uh, I, I came down, Jeff had a, uh, 
I don't know what you called the event, Jeff. It was team the, building workshop. Team building workshop. Uh, it was in May of 2019. I went down to your, your former office. You had an amazing training room uh, set up. Uh, you know, everything, you know, your backdrop right there. I mean, you, you are, uh, you know, set up and equipped to do everything in-house, which is really nice. Yeah. Well, like right now for anyone watching, and I know we're streaming, um, I'm in my virtual reality room. So the house I ended up building, it's our dream home. I ended up putting an outbuilding in. So this was intended to be my workout room, but then we ended up putting our, like a little CrossFit gym in my outbuilding. So I'm going to turn my camera and see if I can turn it. It's, it's ceiling mounted now. It might not let me turn all the way. Okay. I'm grab, I'm going to grab you these headsets. This is pretty cool. Yeah, 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 please. So a big part of where I think the future is going is I don't think that the consumer wants to have to physically go and look at a house. And then when a home hasn't been built yet, let's say you're building a $3 million house. I think they want to be able to tour it virtually, not just with 3d goggles, not just by seeing the 3d images in a 2d render, but by literally physically walking it with goggles like these, these are $3,000. They're HTC Vive Pro wireless headsets. So I set up a studio in my basement to be able to do this so I could test it for my new office concept. So I'm gonna have a set here and a set at the new office. And what we can do today, if you design a $3 million house, I can render that design for $2,000 and give the consumer the ability to walk the entire property physically inside my VR room, you can stand up on your toes and your position would elevate virtually. You can squat down and look under countertops. Anything you can think of, you can incorporate all of the finishes, fixtures, equipment into this render. So six degrees of freedom means you can physically walk a space. And then we've also advanced the technology when it comes to three degrees of freedom. And that's when you capture existing spaces using a camera like the Matterport camera and incorporating fly through steady cams and drone footage, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we partner with builders. Imagine they have seven spec homes. They don't have to build them anymore. We just build them a VR room or they come to our room or the best solution, and this is the future, you empower the consumer to do it from their house. If the consumer can't do it from home, sign the contract, go on a showing, buy a car, buy a new mouse pad. If they can't do it from home, then somebody's messing up. So I thought the real estate industry was 20 years behind, just like Blockbuster and just like a lot of these other businesses that have come and gone. The real estate industry is leaving the way that it is today. The consumer demands a virtual option for everything mortgage, title, insurance, the real estate transaction, planning the house, meeting with designers, meeting with subs, meeting with the general contractor, meeting with the agent. And now more than ever, we've been forced to learn the technology. So we can jump on a Zoom call, right? There's all these different ways from FaceTime with somebody, you can do group FaceTime, you can do Snap video. There's a hundred different platforms to give us the ability, but now everyone's been forced to learn it. So those early adopters who already were doing it always were stressed out that nobody knew how to use the technology, but now everyone's been forced and it's changed the world right? The commercial environment places that were used to have to rent 10,000 square foot of space to put their offices learned that they can do it from home. And in many instances, it's more efficient putting your offices at people's homes because they get to actually work instead of get interrupted a hundred times a day. And like the, you know, the water cooler conversations and the drama. So I've already heard a lot of my close friends who own big businesses have, are choosing to take them out of the com traditional commercial space or doing a hybrid. So my vision of the office you saw I built out in 2015, it was 3,200 square feet. We had two conference rooms, three offices. The people in those offices were all admin or employees. So success, we had our director of sales, our manager, our success manager, our coach, our transaction coordinators, and then I had an office. No agents had offices. The office was built for training and accountability and a place where the consumer could go to meet with a client. And, or sorry, the consumer would go to meet with their agent. So my new office is 10,000 square feet, three times bigger. We have six conference rooms and they're all running Mersive technology, which is a bring your own device technology where there's like a computer, kind of like a Mac mini that lives behind the 65 inch flat screen monitor. Okay. And independent, independent of the device you're on, you could be on a, a, I, you know, an iOS or Apple device. You could be on an Android device, on a tablet, a computer, a laptop, et cetera. And you can sync to the screen. And once you've screencasted to the screen, you're automatically using this HD camera that's about this big that sits in for underneath the TV screen and the bar, there's a huge sound bar this big that's underneath the TV screen. Because we know that the consumer, you know, significant others, one can make it, one can't make it. That's okay. Why don't you just pop on virtually? We'll send you the link and we'll stream the video from the office. So we had already been fully functional prior to COVID. We were paperless in 2017. We were streaming all of our trainings, accountability meetings, everything was virtual or in person. The new office and the office of the future 
is a physical location that gives everyone the ability to go physically with the option of going virtually, both the consumer and the agent and staff that works inside the office. So that was what our, our vision was. And then the pandemic hit and it couldn't have come at a better time. We, we 100% had already been operating in this world. We're 100% going to continue operating in this world. This is the future. It's a new, the new normal. And anybody that's not choosing to adapt to it because they think they're so far along in their career, you're going to be retiring soon. So I'd recommend get on the, you know, get on this bandwagon. Everything's going, it's changing. So um, I can create, a, I'm going to share a link in the chat and I don't know if people will be able to see that on Facebook, but I could put it in after. I could always put it in after. That would be awesome. I just put it up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's not it. I messed up. That is it. So this is an example my, I own a company called Verly. I'm wearing their shirt today. Uh, it stands for virtual reality. And we go into a luxury home. We do the 3D Matterport, which everyone has seen. But where Matterport we feel like has lacked a little bit is in their ability to help market the property outside of just the Matterport product. So the link I just sent you, when you log, log into that, it's going to be a branded page that brands the listing agent. It's going to include Matterport, which everyone's used to seeing. But we go even further to incorporate Matter tags. So we go through a luxury home and we say hey, to the seller, hey, what are the 10 most important things that you want us to showcase? We're actually going to create a video for each of those items inside of your virtual tour, inside the Matterport 3D tour, and or we'll go out to YouTube and we'll grab a video from an expert who's talking about it. So in this particular video, you're going to see them talk about Lutron, a Wolf Range, a Sub-Zero refrigerator, and a myriad of other things they have in the house that they wanted to have showcased. When someone's touring virtually, you know, on a computer screen, they can go click on those tags. They're called matter tags and be able to learn a little bit more information about the item. But where this landing page, where the juice uh, really is there is that in addition to Matterport, we create a video using the Matterport footage and we put a green screen with the agent in the beginning introducing themselves. And that also lives inside the 3D tour. So you get to meet the listing agent when you walk into the property in your virtual reality goggles, Google Cardboard, or if you're just looking on a computer screen or on a phone, there's a little video of the agent and then they can tour the property. And then we also create a video fly through, both with drone footage on the exterior of the property and then a steady cam inside the property. And then on the bottom, you can share, the consumer can share all this on their social or they can go to your social pages. There's redirects all over the place. So if you've never, if you, if you don't, well, should I say this? If you've never seen Matterport packaged in such a way where it's going to market you as the agent and the house together, go click on that link, check it out, uh, get Verly.com. If you click on the link here, this is actually the house I just sold a couple weeks ago uh, for $2 million and I had both sides on it. Uh, I think we're doing something pretty special. I haven't seen very many other companies in the country offering something like this at, at our margin. This product is $250. So... so so, you know, just to kind of recap in layman's terms. So yep. you have this, you have, maybe I'm not doing justice, so help me You're out good. here. But you have this amazing property. You, you, you set up a virtual tour. You have the capability of, of stopping and, and like dropping a pin on, on a particular item, the subwoof, uh, you know, yeah. or, hey, yeah. unfinished basement, but has the yeah. rupt in plumbing. And, and there could be a, a, a specific video or information on that pinpoint within the virtual tour as you're touring the property. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and if, if you want me to share my screen, I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, you'll, have, you'll have to click on the top right, give me permission to share and I'll show you guys. Yeah. A lot of people don't know this is out there and there is a lot of virtual reality technology. I think Matterport is the best for existing spaces. I still think they do the best job. It's a proprietary company. So the images and the video and everything lives with them. Um, you pay like a, a you know, monthly expense to have that live. Uh, our company, Verly, we partner with top teams and brokerages in that you can go out and shoot the footage yourself, give us the raw data, and then we build this landing page. So if someone wants more information about how to buy the cameras and the steady cams and all the stuff you'd need to empower your photographer to give you the exact product I just sent you, just drop me an email. They can just send an email to jeff at kwelite.com. If you're interested in getting set up, you can actually do it for under $100 we can get you set up and your shooter can go in and scan all the rooms. And then for $250, we create this link for a $10 million house. It'd be $250. And you'd, uh, you'd, you'd incur the cost though on the other stuff. Did you find I, it? So I'm having a tough time sharing your screen, but I found, I found it. So I'm going to share, uh, give me one second. I'm going to, I'm going to, he's going to drive. I'm we're going, drive. We're, you're I'm, driving it. I'm driving. I'm driving. Do it. Do it. Hopefully I can talk you through this. 
The other thing I'll say is what Mike's about to do is on a computer screen. He's doing it in two degrees of freedom, being able to drive up, down, and left, right. You'll hit play here on the landing page, Mike. Uh -huh. And this is what a majority of the listeners has already seen. So from here, this is called your dollhouse view. If you click on the bottom left corner where you see those three pieces of paper on top of each other, yeah. that essentially will give you the ability to pick what level you want to be on. Okay. So if you click on that, you could pick, you know, do you want to be upstairs, main level, or down? You can't see because you have that white pop-up in front of the uh, yeah. grayscale box. You're right. Yeah. So let's click on floor one. That would be the basement. All right. Right now, right now you've hit play, so it's kind of running a default. So now yeah. you're in the basement. You can obviously navigate around, go wherever you want. Everywhere they've scanned the room, that's what Matterport does, is you just, it pieces together an image that was taken in a, with a 360 camera. And everywhere you see a circle, the camera was actually set up. You can now do this from your iPhone, from a Ricoh camera, or from the actual Matterport camera. So let's go upstairs just to show how simple it is. Go back to those three pieces of paper and click level two. And now you'll get to see the tags. So if you scroll left or right, wherever, you'll see green tags on the walls. Oh yeah, I see one right here. So go click it and you're like, what's this green tag? You might need to get closer. Oh, it populated. And it'll be a little laggy on the screen share. But if you're doing this from your computer, you guys go check out this link. You click on that little green circle again, Mike. Yeah. And it'll populate that little box and it'll be a YouTube video. And so right from here, if you hit play, it'll actually open up a new screen for you to watch the video in. Oh, so I could, I could watch this to explain, in this case, the wolf range. Yep, exactly. Video. Yep, you watch a video about the wolf range. You watch a video about the sub-zero. So it's anything the seller wants you to highlight. That's really cool. And what's cool about this, see in the bottom right corner, it has those little owl eyes. Yes. Anytime you're on a website where you see that, you might see it when you're looking at sailboats or if you're in a museum online, that indicates that this particular uh, product is usable with virtual reality. So usually people have built virtual tours like this for Google Cardboard. You can buy a pair of Google Cardboard. It's literally made out of cardboard with a piece of plastic and you put your phone in it and it costs $15. So every listing presentation we go on, we show the seller what exactly their tour will look like virtually by using this literal tour I'm showing you right now. And we put it in the virtual reality goggles and then we leave them the Google Cardboard. We buy it from them. We spend $15 and let them keep the VR goggles. If you wanna make it more impressive, buy them a pair of Oculus Go goggles. They're $150, a little bit higher tech. And we leave that at the list press, Mike, so that when our listing comes live a month later and we put in all the time to make it look amazing and we create their video, they can pop it into their goggle using their cell phone and see exactly what the consumer can see. And I can't imagine a world or a landscape better than now, you know, now that we're experiencing COVID, to be able to provide the buyer the experience to be able to tour a house virtually in three degrees or two degrees of freedom on a computer screen or on a cell phone and not have to physically go into the house and put themselves at risk. I think every MLS in the country should require this for every licensed listing agent. I think every listing should have a virtual option. I don't know why they wouldn't. It's like why Blockbuster went away. Netflix tried to get blockbuster to buy them multiple times they never did because they said who's going to go virtual to rent a movie that's that's absurd and now today think how absurd it would be to drive to a a building and buy you know rent a vhs tape and walk back home and stick it in and then get you know you'd get fees for being late returning it i think this is the future people used to talk about pictures being amazing then you could have 10 pictures then 50 then VR links, which is the virtual reality of 10 years ago was still images that panned through and it right. was sil silly. This is true VR. This gives someone the ability to actually tour. And so the experience I have with my HTC, you can stop the screen share if you want. Oh, actually scroll down to the video. I forgot about that. Scroll down. So that, this is Matterport. Everyone's seen Matterport, but check out, check out the rest. So hit play on that. So we can do this for everybody and CEO of KW Elite. We pride ourselves in providing each and every client and consumer. So no one needs to see this. Why don't, just run to the middle. Just run, grab the bar and just go to the middle. Yeah, there you go. So now you'll see, this is the drone flyover of this particular house. Every one of our shooters gets their federal aviation license so they can fly drone. And then we fly in and then we use the steady cam feature inside the Matterport so we can actually incorporate video fly through inside the house. And what's cool for branding is everything you see on the bottom is what lives on social media. So when we post this to the KW Elite Facebook, Instagram, our personal Facebook, Instagram, our company, Get Verly, does tags the agent, tags everybody. 
so that everybody can see this new listing we took. It has my, you know, my agent's contact information all branded for them. And then the last thing I'll point out that's really cool, scroll down, look at the size of this image. If you guys have your screen on full screen, look at the, look how clean the pictures are. It's because we don't house these on the MLS. We house these on a third party cloud server. So you can scroll through the pictures there with the right white arrows, Mike, either direction and see, you can have this on an 86 inch flat screen with no pixelation. Whereas if you're pointing people to a website that's IDX syndicated, typically the images are going to be way more grainy than this on a larger screen oh, application. Is, it, is this the house right here? Yeah, that's the house. It's sold for two? Yep. 1.8. I, I mean, this, this one here has got to be, you know, two, two, five, five, three. Yeah, they have an Olympic pool in their backyard. Yeah, that was an ex NFL player actually lived in the house next door. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's cute. It's a pretty neighborhood. All yeah. right, so then scroll down and you'll see from a brand. I didn't. I, I, didn't get, I, th I thought you just had like a bunch of cornfields. I thought you were just corn huskers. Yeah, there. there's some corn. I never see corn, but okay, there's corn no. every direction. If you drive like 30 minutes any direction, there will be. Corn. I'm just All right. yeah. scroll down. I know you're joking. All right, so if you scroll down um, with your mouse. I think you're still panning down in a picture. There we go. That's my branded redirect links. So you'll see my social media redirect links if people want to go to my site. And then if they want to share it to their site, they can share it to their Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Google Plus. Nice. And so make it really easy for the consumer, you know, to have a really great experience. And right now I haven't seen a website out there that does this. So that's why we took the extra time to make this agent specific as well as consumer specific. It, now, if, if this is IDX linked, last thing I'll say, Mike, if there is an IDX link, we have a non-branded version. I was gonna ask that. Yep, MLS won't allow you to sync this with an agent's info, yeah. but this is what we're pushing everywhere. So when we send out just listed cards, we have a QR code that if the consumer scans it with their phone or with the camera on their phone, it points them to the agent's branded page. When we send out just sold, they scan it, it points them to the agent's branded page for home valuations. When we put active listing flyers in the house, we don't put the agent's contact information on there because the buyer's agent's going to put those in a drawer. They don't want it to point to the listing agent, right? When they're showing right. the property. So right. we just put a QR code that says for 3D tour pictures and drone footage of this home, scan this box. When they scan it, it takes them to the branded landing page and the buyer's right. agent doesn't know that's going to push those people over to you to be able to generate leads to you. So that's what one of the things that we've been doing. This is not just for luxury. We've been doing this in every price point on every house since 2017. So when people ask me, how'd you grow to be the number one team in the world at Berkshire? I said, there's a myriad of reasons, but one is our focus has always been serving the consumer by spending some of the commission dollar to make it the best experience possible for them. And best to them is the goal you should have for your agents and for yourself and for them. And that is to help them make the most amount of money net the most in the least amount of time with the least amount of hassle. So if I was going to do all of what I just showed you for my own house, I better be doing that for the clients that I serve. I better be requiring the agents in my organization to be offering it to the clients that they serve. And if I didn't, I'm a hypocrite. And I think there's a lot of agents out there knowing that they're not doing the best service for their client because they're lazy and we're in a seller's market. And all you got to do is get the listing and make your two and a half for 3%. And I think shame on them for giving real estate agents a bad name. My clients know we go over and above, we spend the extra money, put the extra attention to detail. And that's why we grew to be the number one team in the world at Berkshire Hathaway. And we hope to grow to be the number one brokerage in the world at Keller Williams and in the world period. Yeah, no, that's, it's a great point. We're always talking, uh, teaching agents, raise the bar, right? And, and uh, you know, our industry solely needs it. There's a lot of agents that are part-time agents and they cut corners and they don't do what it takes to, to market homes. I mean, uh, I was coaching an agent recently, Jeff, luxury home, and uh, the previous agent, uh, it was a canceled and expired listing. If, if you looked at what the previous agent did to position this home, it was embarrassing. And so yeah. uh, we're all about raising the bar, amazing photos, descriptions, 3D tours, tagging them, taking them to the next level. All I was that. gonna ask you about the unbranded. Sounds like you guys are already doing that, which is great. Yep. The, the other thing we're doing, a lot of you listeners probably haven't heard about, um, is near field communication cards. It looks just like a little plastic credit card and it has a chip inside of it that I can program to point to the branded landing page of their listing. So after we take a live listing, we send them two really nice high class looking credit cards that have our KW Elite logo on them. And when their friends say, hey, I'm really curious how your house looks or how did it turn out? I heard you're on the market. They can tap the back of their friend's phone 
without the friend turning anything special on. They just have to turn the screen on and it populates a little tag, like a notification tag. And when you click on it, it takes you to the branding, branded landing page. So we're leaving them Oculus Go goggles or Google Cardboard so that they can tour their home virtually once it comes online. We're sending them the VR cards. We're sending out 25 just listed cards, 25 just sold cards. There's 25 luxury cards inside the house with the QR code redirect. So there's a lot of moving pieces there, but it's creating tons of value and brand awareness and hopefully exposure for the listings so that we can get them the most amount of money for the property. That's awesome. I know we don't have a lot of time, Mike. I've got to run in about 10 minutes. I do want to invite anyone that has made it this far and actually found this to be useful uh, to go out to our coaching company's landing page where we give away a bunch of free stuff. Everyone likes to hear that. I have a business plan on there that I give away. I have my listing presentation that incorporates all the things we talked about today that I give away for free. My buyer presentation, my drip emails, all sorts of stuff that you can take advantage of today. Go to growwithers.com. G-R-O-W with W-I-T-H. ERS, Elite Real Estate Systems.com. Take advantage of some of that free stuff. Um, if anyone wants to know more about our coaching, I know Mike offers an amazing luxury coaching course. We teach team leaders and aspiring team leaders and brokers how to build and scale dominant real estate businesses in their marketplace. And you can go out to Elite Real Estate Systems.com to learn more about that and set up a demo call if you'd like it. Grow with ERS, or sorry, um, ERS demo call.com. There's a link on the Grow with ERS link. Okay. So yeah, some, some great information there. And a couple things I just want to, A, thank you for your time. And, and B, you know, when I bring on a guest, this is our 30th show, I want to make it worth their time. You know, I asked them to bring value, which of course Jeff did today. He gave a lot of nuggets for those of you that are paying attention or maybe watching this replay, maybe you aren't watching this live. A lot of nuggets here. You know, Jeff, I got to share this story with you. I'm not going to mention names, but about three weeks ago, I did an hour training on somebody else's Facebook group our training, nine, we had 90 slides, 84 out of the 90 slides were content-based, three were testimonials, and I had three. Uh, one was, uh, it wasn't even a promo, it was information on our podcast, just kind of like your backdrop. One was for our, uh, our blog, and then we did have a, a, a website that somebody could come to. And this gentleman literally shut me off because he said I was pitching on his show. And I mean, literally, I, 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 was, I was shocked. I had so many people reach out to Three me. Three slides. They apologized. They said, I've never seen anything like it. So I do believe in win-win relationships. Jeff gave time. He gave his energy. He gave some great resources. And obviously, I, uh, I welcome him to share what he did. So one more time, uh, where should they go try? Or yeah, go, go to Grow With ERS. I give a bunch of stuff away for free there. Go grow to Grow With ERS. Grow With ERS. Yep. Grow with ERS. Yep. Jeff Cohn. And, and then uh, we also do our podcast, Mike. I'd love to invite you guys, if you are interested more in like this level of thinking and technology and hybrid offices and ancillary businesses and all this fun stuff outside of just luxury, go to the team building podcast with Jeff Cohn on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube channel, or from our ERS page. It's just called the team building podcast with Jeff Cohn. And um, you can follow me on Instagram at Jeff M Cohn at Jeff M C O H N. And I put out a ton of cool content every day. We're releasing new information as we continue to pioneer a lot of this technology. We're sharing our successes. We have an abundant mentality where we give it all away. We know our competition isn't going to do it because they don't want to spend the money. They live in a scarcity mindset. And that's how most people operate. And that's the reason we're operating at the highest level and doing what's best for our client and the agent that we serve. Uh, great information as always. Hey, everybody, tomorrow we're not going to do the luxury lunch and learn. Obviously, we're doing it today. Have a great 4th of July. Stay safe out there. If you like this video, leave us a comment. Uh, give Jeff, Jeff a thumbs up. And throw, throw another hat on. What else we got? We got one more hat. We got one more. We got, oh man, I got to start doing that with my luxury swag gear there, Here's Jeff. The best hat. Here's the best hat. Oh my, yeah. Let's leave with that. Have a great Thursday, guys. We'll talk to you later.